Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Cole Matt, and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about freighters. And today's video request comes in from Georgie Porgy 10 I want to go ahead and thank you for leaving your comment and requesting a video. And again, if anybody has any future video ideas or anything they want to see, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a video about it. Anyways, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. So we're going to first start things off with a few little things you should know before you start looking for your perfect freighter. And the first and most well known is definitely the fact that anything after your first freighter you are going to have to pay full price for. So definitely keep that in mind. If you haven't already gotten your freighter yet, I would go through and do this guide first before you get your first freighter so you don't have to keep going through and getting multiple ones. And there have been a few rumors since the newest update that the times have changed, but as far as the community goes, we haven't found any new information to support that yet. So going forward, if you're looking for your freighter spawn battles, it's still going to be three hours and your five warp jumps. And you're only going to want to do your freighter battles if you want either of the two capital freighters design. That being the Venator on the top. Starting from the left, we have the Venator which is the small variant, the Imperial, which is the medium variant, and the Resurgent, which is the large variant. And then the only other freighter you would find is going to be the Sentinel, which the small is called the Sentinel, the medium size is called the Battleship, and then the large is called the Dreadnought. Moving on from the capital freighters, up next we're going to have the system freighters. Now any of these listed are going to be obtainable without the freighter battle. So definitely if you want to farm these but you don't feel like waiting the three hours for your freighter battle, this is going to be the way you want to go. First on the list we have the Enterprise, up next we have the Cargo Overbot, the Iris, Centrifuge, the Cargo Underbite, Blade, Galleon, Revolver, Oculus, and finally the Hammerhead. Now obviously if you saw the pattern there it's going to be whatever is on the front of the ship. And if you're interested in any of the ships that were just shown, all of these were found on the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange, so definitely go to there and check them out. If you like the ones that you've seen in the video, then you can just go put in the glyphs that you found. Which brings me on to the next point. If you find a ship that you want from the No Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange, or even if you just, say, have a friend that's playing and they find a ship, how exactly are you going to go about getting that same ship? So the first thing you're going to want to do if you find a ship that you do want is go ahead and use your portal to get to that system. Once you're in the system, all you're going to want to do is make one jump over to the next system and plant down a base there. Now you do obviously want to do this before you get your three hours of playtime and your five jumps because otherwise as soon as you jump to the next system, it's going to go ahead and initiate the battle. So this is something you definitely want to do before you have your freighter battle ready. So that way as soon as you get the freighter battle, you can just reload to the latest autosave and then just use the teleporter to go straight to your base and then you would jump into the required system. But if you have any questions on that specific method of obtaining your freighter, definitely go ahead and leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them because just like you, I was in your shoes at one point and it is super confusing, especially the first time you do it. After you do it that first time, you kind of get the hang of it and then you're good to go. Now onto the spawn rates for S-Class. In an outlaw system, you have a 5% spawn chance. For your 3-star systems, it is a 2% spawn chance. And then for your 2-star systems, you have 1% chance. So if you are looking for S-Class, definitely go to those Outlaw systems. I know it's only an extra 2%, however, that's going to save you many, many reloads. So definitely go to those Outlaw systems right away. I wouldn't even really bother with the 3-star. Unless you find a 3-star system that has a freighter you really like, that'd be the only reason I would go with 3-star. So you may be asking yourself, why exactly do I want an S-Class freighter? Now, it is all going to come down to your stats and to your storage. The stats are going to be the lower of the two. You are still going to get that increase for an S-Class. The main thing you're looking at, though, is definitely going to be that storage. So for your C-Class, in your general, you're going to have 25. Technology is going to be 7. And then for your cargo, you're going to have 24. The B-Class, the maximum amount that you can have in your general, is going to be 35. Technology, 7. Cargo, 32. For your A-Class, you're going to have 40 in the general. 14 in the technology and 40 in your cargo and then for the s class you're going to have 48 in your general 21 in your technology and then 48 in your cargo so definitely make sure that you go with those s class ships you definitely want to go ahead and get all that extra storage and if you don't know how to get the cargo bulkheads in order to expand that storage to its maximum capacity check out the video i have down in the description below it's definitely going to help you out with that 
And so as I stated prior in the video, the capital ships you are only going to be able to get for your freighter battles. So definitely if you want those, you're going to have to wait for them. However, system freighters, I'll go ahead and give you an example of how exactly those will spawn. So all you're going to want to do is find a suitable system. In my case, I have a GEC outlaw system right here. So we're going to go ahead and jump to that. And once you've made it to the system that you are ready for your freighter to spawn in, all you're going to want to do is just pulse around for a few minutes. Once you're done pulsing, you'll just pull out of the pulse and give it a few seconds and you should start to see those freighters spawn in. It may not work 100% of the time right away, but you can see here we've already got our spawning in. So we're just going to look for the ships that have the freighter icons. We're going to go ahead and land on those. And all you're going to want to do is hop out of your ship. Now you can go run up and talk to the captain, but as I've stated before, if you have the analysis visor, you can just aim at the ship. So we can see this is a GEC B15 plus 3 plus 2, and it's worth 7 million. So I could trade my ship for this, however mine is an A class, and I'm not going to do that. But you could keep resetting until you get the class you want. So say this was the freighter that you wanted to go with, and you just wanted S class, all you would do is just keep reloading a save and coming back to the system, and eventually you would get that S class spawn. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you still have any questions about your freighters, definitely leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I see it. And I want to give a huge shout out to Georgie Porgy 10 for the video idea today and the video request as well as the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange for all the glyphs and all the ships that we've seen here today. So definitely stay tuned. We have more videos coming out on the channel very soon. But anyways, if you like the video, consider leaving a like. If you like the content on the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Peace out.